What is going on everyone and welcome back to another water hopping episode. Long story short, um, staying off the kayak for a little while, taking it easy for a little while. Um, got some issues going on with my back and uh, nothing crazy, you know, nothing to scare you folks at home or nothing like that, but it's enough where I'm uh, deciding to stay on shore, take it easy these next couple weeks to a month and uh, just not get on the kayak for a little while. So Ole Yeller's gonna stay stagnant for probably most of June and uh, right now, I might get out like once on it, but right now we're gonna go do some shore fishing. I only have a little bit of time today, not the typical full Sunday to go fishing. So with that being said, guys, we're gonna go fish for like an hour and a half here at a pond I haven't been back to in maybe two years. So hopeful that it's still got them. There are some big fish here, but you really can't do anything but throw a frog. You guys will see why here in a second. We're gonna throw this uh, little Allen here and uh, just one rod, no backpack. Let's go crack them, folks. Stay tuned. Yep. Almost fell right off that log on a hook set. That's my first frog fish of the year. Right there, guys. <laughs> Thought I picked the right place. Decided to come out here, toss the frog. Do you think he wanted that? First of all, think he wanted that or what? He barely just slurped it under the surface. I almost slipped off the log when I set the hook on him, but a pretty fish nonetheless. He won't stop flipping and flopping. Pretty. Pretty. Look at the making me want to put the drone up. I was thinking about it, and now I'm even more thinking about it. Let's see if we can catch one more, and then we'll uh, we'll decide if we want to put the drone up or not. kinds of bluegill right there. There's actually a bluegill right there. I could probably grab him. See? Kind of feels like I'm gonna get a blow up pretty soon here. See all the bluegill right there? They're all spawning up in this shallow flat right here. Oh, I bet you this lily pads are just chock full of bass and, and bluegill. I uh, was wondering how long it would take for those birds to get mad at me. Big bear, he's iron tough. I'm very hopeful for this section over here. I ha in order to fish that section though, I have to be right there. 
and that that whole section right there is like a big flat that's probably where I'm gonna pop the drone up just because I feel like I have my best odds over there just cannon in this frog all over the place and you notice as soon as the frog hits I, I put my rod tip way high and that's because this braid is getting stuck and woven underneath all these lily pad stems so when you go to set the hook you have to crack 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 through all the algae and everything you're hung up in before you actually get to the frog so Thinking, guys. Oh my god, that's a huge fish. Get in here, boy. Get in here, boy. Oh boy, that's a big one. Oh boy, it's a big one, boy. Oh, it's a big one, boy. Oh boy. Woo! On the drone! We got it on the drone! <laughs> oh boys! We got a big in! <laughs> Blammo! Have to do that math later. 1.77 kilograms. <sighs> Frog fishing, folks. Biggins. Right there. Let's get him back in the water. It's what we needed. It's what we needed. Oh, yeah. All right, now you're gonna somehow disappear into all this junk, right? Like, you're gonna just scoot into this and I won't see you anymore, right? Come on now. Come on now. You figure out you're in the water? There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have been trying to do that for, well, I got this drone a year and a half ago. Let's call it that long, folks. We didn't wake up for sunrise. We slept in, got ourselves some good Z's. Woke up at like, what time did I wake up today? 5.30. Got out here, throwing this frog around at around seven o'clock I got here and uh, caught a few folks. <sighs> All right, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's video. I sincerely, sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday as well. I, myself, am taking it a little easier during this little stretch we're on right now. Uh, long story short, got some back stuff going on. I won't really go into it because, honestly, I don't really know what it is yet, so I got to get that checked out. But in the meantime, we're just kind of laying low, taking it easy. I don't think I'm going to drop old Yeller in for at least a couple more weeks here. Next weekend, I got something super, super exciting planned that I haven't done in, like, four years at least four or five years maybe even longer so i'm super stoked for it it's going to be a group activity and i think we're going to get on some really really big fish so get excited guys and uh, subscribe to the channel for more that was my first ever drone blow up so hit the like button for that because that was a four pounder by the way it was 1.79 kilograms that came out to four pounds basically right on the nose so first four pounder of the year 
Had a feeling I could get one going out of this place. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny little pond. It's a, I'd call this a micro pond. We got ourselves a little micro pond here, but it holds the right ones. It's got good depth, it's got the bluegill, and uh, it's hard to fish because of all this grass and just junk on top. This is the pond you want to be at, and it's front and center, but no one fishes it because it's so just chuck full of just crap. But this is where the big ones are, folks. Don't be afraid to fish the junk. Go get yourselves a little hollow body frog, heavy action rod, 50 pound braid, and go stick a big in, folks. This is the time. Spring is pretty much over now. We are coming into early summer. Top water is hot and heavy. I can't even imagine how good it would have been if I would gotten out here at sunrise. I'd love to see how this place does at sunset right around this time of year, but we just stuck a few late morning biggins, folks. So hit the like button for that. Subscribe to the channel for more. And as always, guys, keep water hop, and I'll see you soon. You Look at that. That's a drag boat, right guys? It says insane on the back. Look at that. Look at it. That thing's wicked. Look at that thing. What in the world? Badass, man.